Cal headed to Stanford. Stanford, a one and a half point underdog at home, total of 45. And news about Tanner McKee looks like he was practicing this week. He will likely be back for this game. The line was actually Cal minus three, and it has been bet down to one and a half because of that, uh, because of the Tanner McKee news. But look, Tanner McKee hadn't played in a month. And obviously, this is a massive, massive rivalry game. This is uh, what the big game, I believe, is what they call it. Y- you look at this, I just don't see a lot of, of favorable matchups here for Stanford. Uh, I tend to believe that Cal is just the the better football team. I, as a matter of fact, like I, my numbers had Cal favored by a touchdown, even on the road here. I just I, I think that Cal is a way better team. They got their players back now. Everything looks okay for them. I, I'm, I'm going to take the Bears and Justin Wilcox to be able to get this win pretty easily because this is, I, I mean, it's it, it's nuts to think about the fact that this line has jumped as much as it has. And I, Brother, I told you three, and now I'm looking. I think the opening line was actually, was it Cal minus five? And it moved that much? Do you remember from? I have no idea what the opening line. I don't. I don't know what the opening line was. I didn't talk about this as the opening line game. This was. Uh, let's see. I'm. I'm looking. Da, da, da. Let's see. Cal opening line was. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Opening line was five, and it has moved that much. Three and a half points just because of Tanner McKee. I don't buy that. I, I don't mean, know that it moved three and a half because of Tanner McKee. I think this is more of a realistic line. I don't think Cal's very good. Like, you keep talking Cal's a much better team, much better. Look, you're a three-win team, too, in the same shitty conference, all right? They ain't much better than anybody. So, <laughs> if this line was wrong. five, I would seriously be taking uh, Stanford. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, just – I think the line is right here. I think even, this is where the line should be because it's two shit teams. Even with Tanner McKee coming back, Cal's defense, like the one thing that they do the absolute best is stop the pass. They are number eight in defensive pass uh, success rate, and they are number seven in EPA per pass on defense. I just, I don't, I'm going to roll Cal. Like I, I love Cal in the spot. I think they're a, I think they're a way better football team. Uh, they're they're both bad football teams, but there are different levels of bad, just the same way as there are different levels of good, right? So I'll uh, I'll take Cal big time here. Is that is that the way you're rolling? Well, I'm going to take Cal, but once again, this is one of those where you numbers folks lie all the time, all the time. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, they are number eight in pass defense. That's because nobody has to pass on them because That's you just run true. the football down the throat. You get a lead on them, and their offense isn't good enough to scare you. So you just run the ball. That's a, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I mean, a couple of years ago when Rutgers was like 128th in the country overall, they're one of the worst teams in football, they had the number three pass defense in all the Big Ten. Well, why is that? Because nobody threw on them. Because people beat them 40 to nothing by just running the ball down the throat. Yeah. Yeah, you're not this, wrong. This is where numbers lie, and you got to be careful of that. With that said, I will take Cal because I trust Wilcox, but either one of them, are both bad, bad teams. I These can are bad football it. teams. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.